this is Dungan, and it's the first time that I'm talking to myself in quite a while. Yep, haven't recorded in a while. The holidays and stuff. Um, and I wanted to finish off this map once and for all. We have only three wool left, and I believe finally know where one is. This is a special chest. Team music is from Creepers and the King of the Hill helmet. Yep, bunch of stuff like that. Let's sleep off this night. I'm wearing diamond armor. I'm doing a rare dance. But the thing that really gets me overpowered is diamond enchanted armor. Because I tried that in the Black Desert Iron Man. And that was just way, way too much. And in uh, airship battles. I do on do stream, do toid stream. I still die from fall damage with uh, diamond armor on, like falling hardly at all, and well, falling normal. But enchanted armor, I fell like ages and still just kind of died. I don't know. But one of the wolves, I think there is. I noticed during editing in the last video. Is in Gladia Village, which is where I thought it would be, but missed it twice. But in the Church of the Enderman, there was a trap door beneath. There's a trap door, and I noticed that. So I'm going to go check that out right now. And I never mentioned this in the video yet, but as you can see, my texture pack is back. Um, the changes are the glass you just saw, which I love. Um, glowstone, like up there, is much lighter, brighter, basically. Um, green wool is brighter, not a dirty cactus green, but actual good green. Um, what else? What else? Um... I'm blinking. Um, glass panes naturally change with the glass as well. It is close to default still. It's super close. See anything that could help me out with my memory? Nope. Don't see anything. Hmm. Um, what else? Ah, this is now bugging me. Oh, well. Oh, paintings have changed. I got the paintings with my names and face on it back. But I might change that back. Just because, I don't know. Default paintings are pretty cool. But here you can see the glowstone's actually brighter. Right there. Um, cobble's the same. A lot of st a lot of stuff's the same, but here's the mystery tap door. Ooh, ladders, cool. So, ah ha ha, very very funny. Lord Kisias, hear hear me. I managed to secure one piece of wool without drawing the attention of the villagers. They don't suspect anything. Your loyal disciple Knox. So wait. Okay, Nox is an enemy. Without drawing attention on the villagers means that he was avoiding them instead of trying to help them out. Black Grey Wool! Oh yeah. Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky little trapdoor there. I don't think I ever would have found it if I didn't go through that edit, if I didn't uh, edit all my videos to have a second look at what I just looked at again. And game music just started up. But, I started creation on complete the monument map since my third race fool is out. And I'm going, I'm inspired by the Ocarina of Time best game ever and I began 
the Kokiri Forest, but unlike the stagnant, very flat uh, Kokiri Forest and Ocarina of Time remakes I always see, I'm going like super out. I call it Ocarina of Time Advanced, or which is um, between, which is like a super extended version. The uh, story basically goes between Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker, the, uh, what caused like the ground to collapse or whatever, but I really like how it's turning out, and it's just been this morning I started it, and Kokiri Force is already almost half done. Because I now have the powers of single player commands and world edit, and I'm actually liking it for map editing as opposed to, well, with including MC edit, MC edit forever, but, ah, uh, oh well. Fail. No mobs would have attacked me, right? I don't think so. I started at night, slept it off, and just ran. The only thing that would happen is the hunger. And I'll probably be starving right now. But who cares? I hate hunger anyways. So. Oh well. It's all good. There's a fail, but... It's not like we went through halfway through a dungeon or something like that. And I actually got a wool. So let's turn this thing in. And yes, I realize I just missed my tunnel. Whoa. <laughs> oh yeah. See, look, I'm already down two little chicken legs thingies. Come on, jump, jump. Oh, and I can't heal that half a heart. So, light gray wool. Now, where are the others? Let me get my food situation in order here. Alright, got it. X is, works wonders on a huge mushroom. But... I've heard a rumor that you can, you don't need a crafting, oh, that's nice, that's really nice. So I could just save the resources, and just craft them on the go. That's awesome. Alright, so, I want to check out the huge jungle. Hmm. Yep, I'll just go as is. And, yeah. Ow. That hurt. <laughs> jungle, jungle. I also want to check out that. It's been bugging me. But I don't think that's anything, actually. Alright, spawn reset and water gotten. Time to check out this little area. Hello. Vines are so dense. Hmm, I think something might be hidden down here. Wow, there's some weird sounds going on. Yeah, this place is dense.
I wonder how he did the vines in this place. Kinda curious about that. When if it's possible to how vines MC edit and MC edit work. I don't see anything down here actually. Hmm. That's a lot of mobs. Thank you, Creeper. Holy cow. That, that was a ton of mobs. Some more. Game sounds are getting weird on me. I'm starting to think this place might be easier to take down during night because then the mobs get spawned elsewhere instead of this huge dark jungle. I don't see anything beneath the surface of everything. I'll just start dodging all the mobs. Okay, but I don't see anything. That's for certain. Hmm. I just don't know where to go. That's simple. This is why I dislike open world maps. I'm getting beaten up. Spiders have a slow recharge time. I noticed that. Coming night time again. My armor is about to wear out. I'm at the top of the world here. I don't see anything in this whole forest. Below, above. Man, I hate open world maps. Can't say that enough. It's just going through my mind over and over. And this isn't even open world. Like, it's labeled linear branching. Which is cool. I like linear branching. But we ran out of areas, and now there's just missing wool. There were two wool, like that Enderman. The en Church of the Enderman. And... Just lost. Because... Two, I, no clue which areas even have the wools. Much less... Where in those areas? Things like that. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. I have a plan now. It 
it's a drastic measure, but I have to take it because I'm I don't know what else to really do anymore. But we'll take a quick way down. Get another last look at this area. But I don't see anything again. Stupid skellies. All right. Let's see if this chest doesn't have what I need. It doesn't. Lovely. Sleeping off the night, third time. You could dump some stuff though. Although we have to head back to the monument area once again. I wonder where I put my spare diamonds because my diamond armor is out. That's how long I've been searching. Diamond armor has broken on me. It's insane. I have a stretched plan. Plan of attack that's going to take probably a bit of time and really wear out my computer. Okay. No, this is not for the diamond armor. Spare enchanted iron armor. <laughs> that's a tongue twister. Did I put the light gray wool? Yes, I did. But this is in the wrong chest. But what is my mysterious plan? Um, I can't do it apparently. Nope, I'm out. I'm out of iron. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Ugh. I'm out of iron. Yep, I'm out. Completely. Why? Well, do need to check that place. So let's go see if there's it. no more iron in the uh, cave spider place. And I still need to conquer that cave spider tunnel. But I'm out of iron completely. And I didn't even... It might be way over at the um, last intersection. With the Sunshine Beach, the Volcano, and the Badlands. Boreon Badlands. I remember that name. <laughs> Sunshine. Yeah. Might be in that intersection. But I have the diamonds at this one. So I don't know. Now the water bucket is needed. And, yes, I need to find some more iron. I feel hmm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. How do I feel? See, that place is quite deep, and so is this one, but there's just nothing beneath it. Just no, nothing at all. But at least I got some knock back one on this sword. 
and an unbreaking pickaxe. Diamond pickaxe. So it'll last me the entire map, hopefully. Hopefully I don't search so long that a unbreaking diamond pickaxe breaks out on me. Cause that would just be insane. Skelly that way. No thanks. And this way's faster anyways. Alright. Deep in the catacombs. I think poison. Okay, I need to talk more. I'm just not used to this. But that's a lot of spiders. And my sword's about to break because all the cobwebs. I should make some stone swords or something. Whoa, that is a huge slime. That must be the biggest. And I did leave some iron. Yes, I left some iron behind. I left a ton of it behind. Alright, time to get to work. Got almost a, another whole full stack of iron. And this place is officially cleared out from my eyes. And all that's left is to take on the rest of these spider caves. Which has spawned quite a lot while I was messing around with all that iron. Hey, no, none of that now. And I've have, and I made some stone swords. So many mobs. No. Oh no. Time to get out of here. So many mobs. It's very hard to see what's going on. Well, I cleared out a lot of cobwebs actually. Made me happy. How did you get behind me? My health is very low. Oh no. Ah, it's so close. Man, look at that. I hate poison. Dang it. It just takes forever to regen. Well, I'll cut for another 30 seconds, or a minute, more likely. I worked my way around the edge, got poisoned by random spiders again.
can this poison ever go away? How does it just bring me so low? It's frustrating. 